All right, let's go back to basics just a little bit. I know that last year for me, you're in, during the Bassmaster Elite Series season, I tried to make things a little too complicated. I probably did not fish the baits that I have fished for years and years and caught many and many and many big fish and big fish and big fish on as much as I should have. And I think that was a big part of my issue. So let's talk about the, the old standard D-bomb, the flipping and pitching rig. Uh, I, I love the mini flip. Um, that is That goes hand in hand with the D-bomb, but there are times when this D-bomb is gonna be Texas rigged. I'm gonna flip it and pitch it. I was gonna dissect this rig, this exact rig, show you exactly how I have it rigged and how I, how I fish it and my whole setup and everything. I have had this bad, this combo here for shoot, basically 10 years now, over 10 years now. Um, upgraded the rod uh, recently when the, when the Icon series came out. But other than that, the reel has been the same for probably the last three, four years. This is, um, you know, the line has been the same line that I've used for the last 10 years. Uh, the hook, essentially, for the about the last 10 years, uh, everything is, is almost the same. So let's start down at the bottom and kind of go with, go with the bait itself. Now, I mentioned it's the Missile Baits D-Bomb. There, there are a number of good flipping and pitching baits. This one it is my go-to. It's the home run of the, the Missile Baits lineup, and it just catches a ton of fish. As you can see, it's got the thicker ribbed body the hook stays pin it stays in the in the body real good but it also you can see how pliable and soft it is so when you go to set the hook keep it keep i'm gonna have a rig like that when you go to set the hook that bad boy just pops right through it's real soft so when you go to jack them it's it's good but that that hook that i'm using is a 5 aught gamakatsu heavy cover worm hook the one just like that right there and sometimes i will take these hooks not the welded ones I, i'm still using a lot of the older ones i throw a little epoxy right there on that hook keeper and if you don't want to do that or can't you can also take and put a little piece of heat shrink tubing right there in that same spot where you want it if the if the keeper's not far enough up for you whatever i like it way up there so that when I rig it, my bait is perfectly straight. And this is a five aught hook. I use a five aught anytime I'm fishing around wood. I'm gonna use a four aught if I'm gonna be punching into grass with a heavier weight. And then I'm gonna just, you know, rig it so that it's it sits straight. And then I'll just pull it through so I can feel the hook point and push it back just like that. Uh, on the line already, I'm gonna have a tungsten weight i use anywhere from a quarter i use a 5 16 a lot this is a 3 8 half ounce i use quite a bit and then i'll go up to a three quarter one ounce and above if i'm pitching stuff that i need to penetrate into aka punching if i need to punch it oh no my my camera's falling over here now we're talking so uh, and then above that i've got a little bobber stop just to keep your your weight from from sliding up if you're if your bait's going to go into cover you want to make sure the weight doesn't take off and go ahead of it especially once you get up to you know three eighths or a half ounce the heavier the weight the more that's important because the weight can actually just penetrate and your bait stays up there on the top uh wherever it's kind of trying to get through just like my fingers right there so that is very important uh vmc makes a good one uh six cents makes some i mean there's a zillion of them out there uh, but a, a little higher quality one is better and then you can just cinch it down like that and then the weight and everything is nice and compact the d-bomb itself it's four and a half inches long it's a good sized bait it's not too big but it's a full size bait catches a lot of big fish i mean i i know of multiple 14 pounders i know of 13s that have been caught on the d-bomb uh, a fellow a fellow bassmaster elite series has caught his personal best it's a 14 on the d-bomb a uh, number a handful of years ago but uh, that's just a that's a cool little side note but the line that i always use is a sunline shooter sunline shooter is my go-to and i either use 22 or 25 when i'm flipping a d-bomb i'm not going to be messing around 
I'm not going to be putting on 20. There is, in my, in my opinion, there's no need to. The, the ribs on this bait are going to restrict the fall on its own. Line is not going to make 20 versus 25 is not going to make any difference, in my opinion, on the action of this bait. And all of the action of the bait comes with the, the little small flappers on the back. So when that bait hits the bottom, thunk, these little flappers just kind of naturally fall over and move and kind of flop around. So that is the, um, that is why line size really doesn't make a difference. And then you got these two little flappers on the side that kind of add a little extra action underwater. It looks, looks amazing. So we're going 22 to 25 sunline shooter on that. Then we're going to go to a, just a seven, six flipping stick. I'm going to use a heavy action. This is the cash and icon flipping stick, seven, six heavy action. That is my go-to. I'm either going to be using a seven to one or an eight to one Daiwa Tatula. Get, get the best reel you can afford. You're going to, especially something, you know, one of these rigs that you're going to be having in your hands for you, you know, for a big portion of your day, probably if you're flipping and pitching a lot, catching, catching numbers of fish, catching big fish, get something like your best reel should be something that you're going to be putting in your hands a lot. So I like the Daiwa Tatula for the money hard to beat. I mean, you could go with the Zillion uh, TWSV. I mean, that is a phenomenal reel. Uh, I'm probably going to end up upgrading um, to those for next year, but they're, you know, a good little bit more expensive. So if you want to, if you want to spend the money and get you something that you're going to absolutely love, you could bump up to, to probably that, that Zillion that I would just mention. Uh, but if you want to save a little money, but still want a really, really good reel, that Daiwa Tatula is is really hard to beat for the money. Shimano's got a few. I just don't fish with the Shimano reels. They got a few that are really good. I think 13 Fishing's got a few good reels out right now. Uh, but I, I'm not familiar with that lineup really at all. Uh, most of the guys that I room with uh, and most of the guys that I, that I fish with, they either have, most of them have Daiwa, some of them have Shimano. Uh, but that seems to be the consensus on getting yourself a good high quality reel that you can count on for for years to come and that so that's really my setup for the d-bomb this is what i plan on keeping in my hand a good bit of the time anytime i'm gonna be flipping around any kind of vegetation i'm going down to uh, okeechobee to start the season this year i promise you this thing is going to be getting a workout i probably will have two or three d-bombs on with different size weights pretty sure that's going to be that's going to be how that's going to go down um, and then as far as the colors go black and blue is hard to beat this is one of my favorites it's green pumpkin flash love 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 that color especially around the spawn and it doesn't i don't care I, it, it works everywhere i've ever been uh from new york to florida and everywhere in between that color works really really well i mean texas forget about it gunnersville it is a hammer color but uh green pumpkin is really good uh you know just a, in general any black and blue bruiser flash super bug those are really really good all around colors when the water's got a little stain to it i love that black neon color um just one of the colors i love it's black uh, red flake with a with a chartreuse vein in the middle of it anytime the water's got a little a little more stain to it i want something to stand out just a little bit i, I pick up that black neon but i kind of keep it simple on my colors uh and then and that is that is the setup that i'll adjust the weight 22 or 25 pound line that is about the adjustments that i'm going to make on this rig right here uh keep your drag pretty well locked down and when you when you set the hook don't be afraid to put the wood to them with that cashing in that line don't be afraid to put put the wood to them reel up your slack you don't have to hit them on slack you can reel up your slack and then just i mean put the put the tarnation wood on them as they say down in the south put put the wood on them and uh man just don't don't mess around just get them right on in the boat but there there's the setup right there for the d-bomb bad boy right there